Using motion graphic in the user interface can actually increase the usability of the product and also can grab actually the attention of the user to itself. In this video, we will see how we can create complex animation in our graphical editor and how we can use them into our prototypes and eventually in our final product. My name is Kia and here is Akimo. Welcome to another episode of the Kimo Lab. Motion graphics are any static graphic that has some movement uh, or any animated elements in it. As a user interface designer, we can use motion graphic animation in a different way in our website or in the product that we are designing. We can use an animated background or some motion graphics as a background in order to grab more attention and create more, let's say, desirable environment in our product. We can animate the logos, icons, uh, and also the text in order to uh, convey the message that we want to uh, actually transfer to the uh, users uh, in a more simpler way. And of course, one of the most important usage of the animation is to give more proper system feedback to users, like to show the different state of the elements, uh, like the hovering or when we click on the element, uh, or uh, any different state, which can help the user to have a better understanding of the changes in the scene in the uh, user interface. And at the end, we use more complex animation, um, let's call them explanatory animation, in order to transfer more complex messages in an easier way, like onboarding process uh, that might be hard to uh, make it understandable for the users using static the graphics. We should actually avoid using a lot of motion because it might cause distraction of the user at the end, but a bit of the motion can actually help and bring some advantages. Motion graphics are easier to be understood. They are more attractive in the user eyes. Also, they will help the user to have a better and smoother, actually, let's say, interaction with the different elements in our user interface. And of course, it will let us as a designer to bring more creativity into our product into our user interface. In today's video, we are going through four different uh, steps. The first step is the creation of the animation in the Adobe After Effect. The second step would be extracting the animation using body moving plugin into the JSON file. The third step would be importing this JSON file into Figma or any different, uh, let's say, prototyping tools that is supporting uh, Loti file uh, which, is the, which is the tool that we are going to use in order to import the JSON file into our uh, prototype. And the last step would be using uh, the Loti file and Webflow in order to create a web page that is including this animation. So without further ado, let's get started. In the first step, let's try to actually find some, uh, let's say, animation that we can take it as a reference in our case study. I'm using the dribble.com in order to find the reference animation that we are going to use in this project. In this video, I'm trying to find a, a simple animation that we can recreate it easily. So after searching a bit in the Dribbble website, I'm going to use uh, this simple uh, loading animation as our reference animation. Now I open the Adobe After Effects and try to recreate this animation uh, using Adobe After Effects. The point is we are going to extract this animation using body moving uh, plugin into the JSON file that later we can import it into our website. And the problem is that this body moving plugin cannot export all the effects and everything that we are doing in the After Effect. One of the things that we need to get sure is that we are using shapes, vector shapes in the After Effect uh, that is exportable by body moving.
Now the animation is ready, it's time to actually use the body moving plugin to extract this animation into the LOTI, uh, let's say, JSON file. As you can see here, using body moving is so easy. We just open it and then we actually decide where we want to save our file and then in the setting actually we can decide uh, which kind of extra file and properties we want to assign to this uh, let's say animation here I choose that I want to have an extra demo or let's say I want to see this animation in the HTML file uh, when the extracted version is ready so at the end as you can see I can just easily open the demo and check my animation and see how it's working if it's the thing that I wanted or no I need to get back into After Effects and try to adjust the animation a bit more so now it's time to open the Figma and then we need to uh, actually install this plugin LOTI file in our Figma. And the rest of the process is so easy. We just need to select the JSON file that we generated. Then uh, we can get the preview of the animation again in the, uh, let's say, LOTI file. We can actually add a background color to it. The only way that we can import it into our design is right now to, uh, let's say, convert it to the GIF uh, that we can have the animation in the Figma. And then simply I will place this animation and GIF uh, into my frame. Now we want to see how we can use Webflow in order to import this animation directly into our product without using any code. What I'm going to do here uh, is just open the Webflow and open a new project, add a new page and try to create the layout that I want using uh, the containers, the section. After I add these things, now it's time to import the animation into the Webflow. Again, there is a tool and a feature in the Webflow, uh, the Lotify, that we can directly uh, import the animation into it. The good thing here is that now we imported the vector version of this animation. So that means actually we can add more properties, we can play with it a bit more, and actually we can add some events that trigger this animation, like a loading page, hovering, clicking, and so on. So in this case, I want to say this animation should be played when the page is loading. So this process in the Webflow is so easy. Easily we can define this event and then uh, say how this animation should work. So as you can see, nowadays it's so easy to create a complex animations in the graphical editor like After Effects. We have more freedom as a designer to create what we imagine in our mind. I hope you enjoyed this video and you could learn something out of it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it, uh, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's learn together and see you in the next video.